Portals. Interesting. Oh, and it's the grumpy Dunmer. But I repeat myself. Do I have a deal for you? One that will cost you little but gain you much. Ah, uh ah, -uh, none of that now. You haven't even heard what I have to say. And rejecting offers out of hand is very rude. Now then, where was I? Ah, yes. One of my followers has tried to back out of a deal he made with me. He promised he would join me in the fields of regret upon his death, if I but granted him the bitter cup. Once the deal had been struck, however, he went and got himself bit by a vampire, thus becoming immortal. While I admire his ingenuity, I simply cannot let this affront stand. So I'd be ever so grateful, uh, if you went and fetched him for me. And the cup as well. Just get him and bring them back. Oh, one more thing. I want you to bring him back inside of this black soul gem here. Fair is fair after all. Ah, but what of your own reward? Tell you what, I'll give you a choice. You do this and you can either keep the bitter cup or the soul gem. I'll even do you one better and enchant an item for you with said soul gem. Let no one say Clavicus Vile is, uh, not generous. How's that sound? Splendid! Well, off you go. Cool ingredients I need. I just remember Resisting disease is far easier than curing it, unfortunately. How do you get the disease, Razor? They bite you. Ah, uh, they bite you. Point of fact. Okay, well, I got this big old shield. That should help. I need... Yeah. Looks at her big what did I say was the name of the village? Isoldis? Need mandrake mm -hmm. root. Need mandrake and root pulp. Alternatively, you could use charred skeever hide and... Mud crab kite? Well, we used to have charred skeever hide, but... And mud crabs would be difficult to find with where we currently are. We'd have to go to Anvil, probably, or find a lake. Mm -hmm. Which I suppose I could do. I don't actually oh. think my equipment is good enough to use charred skewer hide and mud crab. So I imagine that's a thing to do in the morning. Mm -hmm. are, are we still sleeping here? It's a little oh yeah, creepy. that's a question. Are you gonna the the statue well, is now no clear problem. of the uh, um, vines and things, the bush and bramble, and it's kind of amazing how this like is like there's just this kind of perfect little alcove for it to sit in. Uh, that was like, and it was just covered up in the right way that it was really hard to see until. You were actually examining. Mm -hmm. yeah, we should be safe here. See an issue? Do you say so? Have you never slept beside a Dietrich shrine before? No. We also might be. Uh, we also might Have be you? safer since we're technically yes. on the job. So many times. Why? The followers of Jedric Shrines usually don't particularly care who or what you're doing there, as long as you respect their beliefs. It's better mm -hmm. to sleep in groups in the woods than it is to sleep alone. I remember in the Morrowind yeah. game, taking, uh, f going down, I think, into the sewers of Vivek and finding mm -hmm. a Daedric Shrine and being attacked immediately, on sight, by the <laughs> cult worshippers. Ah. Well, uh, I haven't had that problem with mine. No. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, it turns out uh, if you're a part of the cult worshippers, they don't attack you. Molag Ball can still be a little aggressive if Molag you're too Ball, pretty. But... The runes. Uh, and yeah. if this was a shrine from Ophala, I definitely wouldn't sleep under it. Um, who? Yeah, uh, probably a good idea. Daedric Prince of Nightmares. Uh, how many? Uh, yeah, wouldn't wouldn't there? sleep under that. Like seventeen. But, uh, There's a lot. But here is fine. 
we should be all right. Freaking. There are 20. No, sorry. I think there's 17. 18? 18? Maybe 18? No, you're right. 17. I miscounted. Right. Right. Uh, Alex. <laughs> Always forget about pyrite. <laughs> yeah. We go to bed. Don't, don't trust yeah, well, Shandora. this conversation put me to sleep. So yeah, don't trust your <laughs> followers. They're crazy. Um, yeah. So you go to bed. You sleep the rest of the night uh, under the watchful. Uh, don't say it. I'm not. That's like on the sleep. watchful. Nothing. You sleep. Is Nothing is being watchful. Don't worry about That's it. That's right. Exactly. At all through the night. Except for our friends when it's their yep. turn for watch. Yep. Yeah. In the morning, Peach. you find yourself not raided and relatively well uh, rested as, as well as you'd expect. Cool. Uh, village of Isoldis, Isoldil, is. I can't remember what I said the first time. Definitely didn't. We'll go with Isoldis because that's what I have written down. Perfect. All right. Let's. Well, where where can we get those supplies you need, Neil of Plymouth? I am pretty sure we'd be able to buy them, but I don't know how much money we want to spend on such things. I can try and find them out here, but I'm not sure this is the right area for those particular ingredients. What you looking for? Uh, hold on. I'm moving the Excel sheet that you gave me into an Excel that I can actually edit, edit. so that I can oh, cool. filter them. Oh, you can't filter them if you can only view. Ah, uh, my bad. Yeah, it's all right. I thought you could still sort and stuff. Oh, shoot, what did I lose? There it is. Hup. And then when, uh, we'll turn that one, yours, I think, into the master one because it's probably the one we want to. You're going to be in there. It'll probably mostly be me. Yep. Yeah, so. okay, yeah I don't plan on taking any alchemy skill. Just make it a place that you But, can... you know, you never know. Uh, with was... my... Would I have access to the second uh, secondary effect? What's your skill in alchemy? Oh, God. I got to bounce between all of the things. Sorry. More screens. Okay. More screens. Oh, the screens. So many tabs. Um, my alchemy is at fair, so I have a plus two. I'm going to say... Uh, I guess, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because it means you have to get a plus four to see all four. And that's a lot of investment into alchemy, I think. Well, I'm kind of sort of planning on doing that. But regardless. But we want you to get to, by the time you're at a plus four, I think we're at the time where you should maybe see all four. <laughs> and I guess unless you unless you just freaking put all your points at alchemy and you're able to get it up. But you'll probably have be to intense. get other skills up before you do that. And you're going right. to want to spend points on your archery and probably your physical or mental stress or your magicka. So yeah, if you just, Eventually. if you just pour it into alchemy, then go for it. But I think if we spread right. it out, yeah. What are you looking for? Uh, either elf cup cap, which is probably not in this region. It's mostly found in the West Weald, or, um, root pulp, which is kind of a generic. I think it's mostly supposed to be from monk's wood, but I could be wrong on that. Um, or mandrake root, which is kind of bordering this area, so we might be able to find that. Yeah. So the I think things that are like West Weald, Gold Coast. I'm going to be too strict on this because. Okay. I think we're going to have to break the geographic thing anyway, since there's not a similar list for all the stuff that exists in Hammerfell. <laughs> um, or any of the other places we're going really that I know of so fair enough I'm okay with that with this list. 
So like Westweald, uh, the Great Forest, the big, the, is that what it's called? Great Forest, Gold Coast, heck, Nibine works. Mm. You're on the border of there, Colovia, Bra Bra I'm... Bravo. Then I need Mandrake, Elf Cup, or and or I need two of these three things. I Make need an Mandrake, check. Elf Cup, or Root Pulp. So you go out into the woods here this morning looking for these it's items. Go ahead and make an alchemy check. Can anyone assist her if they don't have that skill? Uh, yeah. I've got the skill and I she can, can assist. Just, you can basically just oh, there go we out go. there and yeah, or she could describe it and you can be like Sam. In a... <laughs> That's true. Oh, uh, Razor's going to help. I'll, flowers, I'll... white shoots or something like that. A blue flower, red thorns. Blue flower, red blue thorns. Flower, red this would be so much easier if I wasn't colorblind. <laughs> uh, wrong reference, but it's, it's fine. <laughs> um, I'm also going to tag I Spy, which was may, maybe or maybe not purposefully designed for this. Give myself an additional two as I'm searching for alchemical ingredients. All right, yeah, I'll let it it was almost what do my elf eyes see, but uh, that's mixing mm -hmm. lore and I don't know. Hmm. Uh, what'd you get there at the end? So just me, I have a plus, I have a three total, but if I'm getting help and they are aiding me or if they're rolling on their own, that could either be uh, so a with five razor or a three. There, yeah, you get your boost. I got a two. We'll call it a boost or giving you an advantage. Give you that plus two. So you get a five. A five. Uh, I think we want to be, I want to see cool things. I want you to be able to put potions together and you've got your mortar and pestle pestle pistol that's my mortar and pistol <laughs> that's how i deliver it's potions mortar and pistol it's a whole different uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, mortar and equipment. i should probably rewrite my character's backstory then because uh <laughs> need heavy artillery proficiencies <laughs> as uh, a wood elf uh world war one veteran so I, I think like the last ingredient, like the mandrake root or whatever that you're looking for, actually, like it takes you some time, like, and you're almost ready to give up because you've spent like half the day out here kind of looking around uh, and you finally find, find it just before you're like, oh, this has been too long. And it's like, oh, it's the last place I look. Has to be. Every time. Yep. Um, and so, yeah, about half your day to get those three specific, three specific ingredients. All right. Which means I can make uh, probably two potions. So if three of you get infected, one of you is going to have to not sleep for a little bit. See, this this makes it easy for me because it means I can cut out an encounter I was thinking of where I like infect somebody with a disease and you, you brew the stuff to fix them so we can use your alchemy. <laughs> You're taking care of that all on your own. I don't have to. I'll have find to ways, man. Yeah. Yep. Makes it easy for me. And maybe I this makes me me feel not bad for infecting you. If, no. <laughs> Wait. Is it a is it a foregone conclusion we're gonna be infected? No. It's a pretty decent likelihood. <laughs> no, <laughs> there are much. five of us. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> <laughs> uh so I think Neo really doesn't mind searching through the like the local woodland to try and find the things that she wants, but I can imagine that somebody in the party probably gets impatient. It's like, where are you, the things? And I'm like, oh, found it. It's the last place I looked. Who would have thought? It's probably me. I'd probably get frustrated. Probably. And then I'll come over and very slowly and methodically start mixing the ingredients and preparing the potion, which will take the rest of the day for me. So, Are you kidding me? This takes time. And, uh, what's Do you the... want me to botch your cure disease okay, potion? Okay. Cause... Okay. <laughs> Would you rather be a vampire? I mean, they have some benefits. Well, what but... are the upsides? Uh, uh, let's uh... see. The upsides are you're immortal. Uh, <laughs> I like that. You're hard <laughs> to kill. Uh, like the downsides are sunlight will kill you. Don't uh, like everybody hates you. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll have an insatiable thirst for blood. And if you don't drink it, you look progressively more and more like a vampire, so people hate you quicker and more. Each what kind of blood are people, we talking about? Human. People. 
They yeah, can but... drink any, but they but human mortal blood is where it's at. Yeah. And like, you you'll, can you'll kill a skeever and drink its blood, but you're still going to look like a gross vampire. That's all I'm saying. Okay, that th- yeah. I think I think I'll think avoid that then. Yeah, for now. Great. Maybe Just later. For now. I mean, if I turn 90 and I'm still like, no, I still want some time. There's a quote there that uh, uh, from a, wa- a wise man once said, uh, it's, it's, vampires aren't inherently evil. It's just that the inherently evil are the ones who turn into vampires. Because they're the ones that well, are okay become... with drinking blood, killing people so that they can live. Do you have to mm-hmm. kill them? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh. Well, uh, you, uh, yeah, you lose a lot of self-control, which is why vampires are a problem. Well, you I can... suppose if you had someone you trusted enough that you could, would let you drink their blood yeah. and not kill them. They probably wouldn't tattle on you to the local authorities. And then you might be able to live and not kill someone. But that's a very... Because what if you infect them and then they also have to drink somebody else's blood oh, and then you yeah, have to find right. a third person and then they might... It's just very complicated. It's better to avoid. Yeah. Kind of like skooma. It'll feel nice at first, but don't do it. <laughs> oh, all right. Do you have a lot of experience with skooma? Not me specifically, but I've seen what it does to people. Do you, Razor? Yeah, I've seen what it's done to people. What? His drug of choice is alcohol, as you can tell. Uh, Yeah, mine is alcohol, uh, but I've seen what skooma does. I am somewhat skilled in the restoration field of magic, so I've seen ailments of many kinds. The world is a dangerous place. All right. Well, there's one done. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> uh, so you work on right, those... Well, uh, I'll guess I'll cook dinner. Those potions. <laughs> Get everybody ready. We'll say there's still time, as you as you discover uh, when you start looking for the village of Isoldis. Isoldis. Man, that now sounds like a really dumb name for a... I don't know what I did. Uh, for you, you will learn that it's uh, it's close by. You know, you go look for the village. You ask the first people you encounter along the road, and they're like, "Yeah, it's just down the road a little, off this side road, a ways." Anything fun happening there? Anything bad happening there? <laughs> uh. You don't know the people you ask. Don't know. Oh, okay. Just traveling, traveling through like a carrot. It's like a trade caravan goes by. Small, small trade caravan. I watch Razor to see if he restocks. <laughs> There's so much judgment in this group, and we don't even know why he drinks. It's nobody's ass. Well, you're not. Exactly you're not very approachable. approachable. Exactly. Thank you. Thank I'm. You. I'm, I'm a. I'm a dark elf. Yeah, so? You don't have to be a dick. Dark elves are generally unapproachable. They they talk like this at you. They're, they're yeah, like, they, we do talk like yeah. that. And then we got the we got the red or purple eyes and the pointy ears and the dark faces. And you sure you're not a vampire? Anything. Though, I mean, in I'm, a world full of, you know, beasts. I'm walking around in the Orcs and... All sorts of crazy things. Can't be too careful. I... Boy. I mean, in my opinion, Altmer are creepier looking than... I'm going to give... Uh, okay. I think that we can all... Appreciatively. You're I think we can all agree. I think we can all agree that the Alts are weird looking. But just because they're tall and skinny and angular... I don't think I've ever seen an Altmer... I have to look one up. You've you've just described all the things I hate about them. But I think that's I wonder what one of my that. ancestors was. Uh, yeah, probably probably an Ultimer. Oh, would they mix like that? Okay, okay, uh, all right, guys. They did obviously. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna finish anyway. your potions. Finish your potions. <laughs> and there's the second one. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you get them done. 
You know that uh, Isoldis is nearby. You go there? I'm assuming. Yeah, you go there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Didn't make these potions for nothing. Um, it's a small, small village, uh, not boarded up or locked uh, and closed up like uh, your previous village you were at. Mm -hmm. uh, this one actually seems to be the. There's a nice. There's a road. That, there's a nice road that goes through. Um, and that road appears to still be functioning in terms of trade. Uh, so the town is still relatively alive, though. People look, you know, like they got their guard up, kind of. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, at this point, I'm going to say, once we find him, he may be trying to pass himself off as human. Uh, I think as soon as we find him, we should just try and kill him then and there. Even if it's you... out in public? Yes. Do you think the other okay. humans here are going to be fine with that? Well, uh, it's better that than give him the opportunity to uh, formulate a strategy or escape. Okay, could we prove that he's a vampire after we kill him? I mean, he'll turn into yes. a pile of ash. He'll so. turn into, okay, he'll turn that's into ash. pretty good proof. So. so they might get uppity at first, but if we finish the job quick enough... Right. Well, look at how adorable and well-dressed Vale is. I'm sure they'll listen to what he has to say. Yeah. All right, so that's Vale's job, is to keep the citizens of this town off our backs and stay far away from the vampire. <laughs> I have faith in him. He's He's got this covered. I can't wait until uh, the, uh, everybody, but, you know, or Vale's the only one to get turned into a vampire. <laughs> you stop saying so clear i'd make a great vampire to contract <laughs> hemophilic porphyria or whatever the hell it's called yeah uh porphyric hemophilia porphyric hemophilia we don't have hundreds if not thousands sanguinare of in these games. something I something about. i yeah i don't i don't have <laughs> nerds <clears throat> <laughs> now, when uh, Bertolas will probably rely more heavily on the two of you to do most of the damage, I do have a bow now, so I can help, but... Just, just be real well, careful with that. Yeah. Because we're well, going to be real close to that guy. That... Yeah, I will I'll never be... hit you on accident, Bertolas. Okay, great, great. That, uh... Over at uh, <laughs> I love the wording of that. That was... Perfect. I would give you a cheeky smile, but I am expressionless. Hey, wait. wait, on per what? Corks, Corks and I <laughs> grew up and moved on. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, let's revisit this. Uh, no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. And I promise not to light you on fire, probably. So then what What are we looking for? Probably. Exactly. Well, it's fire, so it has a tendency to spread. Not but fire. it's really effective on vampires, so... Okay, well, vampires. What, like, right. Are we, what, how, what yeah, how do we find them? Different than a human that I should look uh, We just do it the old fashioned way by asking around. Oh, because that'll be easy. And well, that if, he's, alert him that way. if he's here in this town hiding out under a pseudonym, uh, that'll be difficult, but uh, we can always stop and ask for his name and see if he's here. Now we're going to have to look the old-fashioned way. But I mean, we'll, it offers we'll better see. advice, but I've only ever found vampires in caves, so... Well, the, the thing is, not all the of them hide as the beasts do. If the vampire is staying in this town, why are not half these people dead? Some vampires are... Well, after some time has passed with them being vampires, they do regain some semblance of self and some of them have been able to pass as humans uh, quite successful. But uh, make of course, no you mistake, may not feed here I'm, either. Uh, Let's yeah. ask. But the surrounding areas and uh, definitely some of the outlying people that may not be part of the village probably going missing is definitely a telltale sign. Hmm. 
Wynn, would you like to accompany me to ask some of these humans uh, how things are going in their small village? Yes. Uh, take Bale with you. With well, us. we could... Should we split up into a couple teams so we can cover more ground? I, I can go with Vale. Mm. All right, you go with Vale. Uh, and we'll have... Neil Lithlaneth go with uh, Wynn, and I'll uh, go by myself. Doesn't seem right. Are you going to go stake out the bar? Well, that is the first place to look. Didn't? No. Never mind. <laughs> okay, who's going where? I'm going to the inn. The tavern. Vale, well, maybe we should hit up a a temple of something anti vampiric evil type thing. I don't know. You know this stuff better than me. Well, if there's a temple in town, he's not going to be there. <laughs> well, they might know of some evil stuff going on. Oh yeah. No, if you want to go to the temple and ask around, most definitely. Uh, if somebody's died recently, or if a couple people died recently, they'll be more than happy to. They'll probably share that information. So, and that'll give us a good hint as to maybe who it is. So, good idea. Check that out. Cool. So, when and I are just gonna ask people. Cool. Razor to the inn. Uh, Bertalas and Vale to the uh, local the the small temple, and then uh, Neo and Win hanging around uh, the streets just. Uh, asking anybody who's walking around there are uh here in the middle of the day you know there are some vendors uh and some some people walking around browsing you can see like one of those other like little small traders merchant caravans you know it's a, a guy and like his two carts full of stuff and maybe his his partner or his family that's with him or her and uh you know they're exchanging goods with the village um so, well, while the other two walk off, we'll start with uh, the two of you. Um, well, how are you going to approach this, uh, Neo and Wynn? Well, Wynn, are you comfortable? <laughs> God, I wish I could keep my people? face more stoic than I'm capable of, because I can't do it. Well, mostly because you laugh at your own antics, which I is do. a little bit of a detriment. So, Can't help it. Uh, Wynn, are you comfortable <laughs> talking to these people? She gives you a look. Uh, sure. <laughs> uh, Perfect. Right. You, You're hired. <laughs> we set the right people to the right like groups. We're good. It'll be it'll be perfect. She definitely won't yeet somebody across the room like she did that one time. Oh. Uh, I panicked. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just gonna gesture at the nearest person and be like, "Well." I'll be right behind you. I uh, strut over to them. Uh, very the swagger. Yeah, I, I swagger over, but I don't swagger. It's more like a strut. Like, <laughs> what kind of? Oh, come on. Um. Swagger uh, win. Swagger for us. I do the awkward wave. Uh, <laughs> hi. I am Win Rigter. And this is Neil Lilfaness. Uh We are new to this town. <laughs> I'm looking at Neil. And the person <laughs> nods. You're doing great. <laughs> I can tell. Uh, <laughs> that meme from How to for... Train Your Dragon. <laughs> what, what's that person's name again? Hold on. We are looking for, and I say his name. Dracus oh, yeah. Usurpus. Oh, he is a... Uh, Do you say uh, the whole thing? Yep, I say the whole thing. And I was like, have you seen him around? Uh, what kind of wares does the person uh, who you're asking have? What are they I, selling? They are they the to? nearest person, so. Yeah, trinkets? Trinkets? He uh, shakes his head. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I uh, haven't heard of that name. I think... Uh, 
It's not any of my associates, and none of the people here. But, uh, 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 uh Steve, Steve over there. He mentioned, uh, some people going. <laughs> hey, Steve! Huh? Is that true? He mentioned people going missing around here. Is that true? Well, uh, I think uh, there's all sorts of people that have gone missing lately. Oh? Wherever you go seems to be the case. It was over in uh, uh, um, Skingrad just a few weeks ago, and I don't know, a lot of people who lost friends and family, you know, in the, the disaster, but even since then, you know, people moving, you, know, you go to their house, they're not there. I don't know what happened to him. Okay, uh, so It'd be the perfect time to commit a murder, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> no? Yes? D uh, dial it down, like, a little. Uh -huh. <laughs> Look, I can't help that my face has no expression on it. Uh, I'm joking <laughs> with him. Yes. Um, Who hasn't done a little uh, bit of murdering now and then? <laughs> oh, my God. oh, there's the callback, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it was a setup. A I can't take it. <laughs> a throwback for the OGs. Right. <laughs> uh, I look over where um, he pointed that uh, Steve was. Um. Thank you. I will go and ask him now. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> go talk hey. to Hey Steve. I go over to Hey Steve. Hey, uh, Steve? Uh, <laughs> hey, Steve! Your friend, um, the trinket person, uh, said that you might not, you might know where basically a Dracula is. <laughs> I say his name. Dracas <laughs> Usurpolis, you say. I know well, it's quite a mouthful. Why don't we check in with our friends at the inn? Friend, friend at the inn. Friend at the inn. Man, Ooh. is there an insight skill for this game? Perception. Uh, I like speech. I think speech. Yeah. Right. I, I don't do have any speech. of that. I have one. Oh, Go for it. Go darn. for it. I'm going to roll for it, is interacting with people, general charisma stuff. I'm average. <laughs> Teamwork. Teamwork win. <laughs> uh, I mean, of the parties that have split up, I think we're probably the most capable of self-defense for a long enough period of time for help to arrive. <laughs> so... <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, just don't let them touch me, and I think we'll be okay. I've been missing your guys' direction. Okay. Uh, uh, Razor, you're in the end. You you open the door. This The yep. smell of uh, food, drink, and people hits your nostrils. Ah, oh, perfect. Just what I needed. Uh... It's not completely full in here, uh, mm -hmm. but there are, looks like there are people who are getting uh, travel, you know, travelers <laughs> off the road, you know, taking off their boots, relaxing. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you do? Uh, I go up to the bar and I order a drink. The bartender, a uh, uh, tough looking orc woman. Uh, makes it up without saying a word and slides it over to you and holds up uh, five fingers. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, five, seven. That's it's a little steep. Well, maybe that's too expensive. Two. We'll say two. We'll say two. That's like one quarter of a. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'll I'll slide the two septums over, um, and I'll say, hey, uh, I'm just came into town. I'm looking for a friend of mine. His name is um, uh, Dracus something. Uh, Dracus? Dracus Sithbrook? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's him. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I uh, get supplies from uh, him and his assistant, uh, usually when they're in town. Oh, are they not in town? Yeah. Uh, I haven't seen them today. His assistant can be uh, is often here, but uh, Drekka stays at his uh, cottage doing work most of the time. Mm. From what I uh, understand. Uh, nice oh, to have okay. him around. The village sure is sure is thankful. I think the those that uh, know that his potions are healing people and whatnot. Let's see, so he's. Uh... So he's an, apo- uh, an apothecary. Alchemist, apothecary, yeah, yeah. He does his yeah. own stuff, too. But uh, makes his living selling to the to us here at the town. Mm. I think Steve That's... outside buys his wares as well. Mm. I see. Uh, I don't suppose you know where this uh, cabin of his is. I haven't been there myself. Uh, I know it's somewhere to the south, uh, not that far. Oh, okay. Well, you've been very helpful. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I'll take this drink to go. Uh, I need that cup back. Uh, as I just down it, the whole thing, and then... She nods, take it to go, right, take it to go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's not a sign of alcoholism. Uh, Dave, sure you're in, the, you're in the temporary aspect, uh, buzzed. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> it's only one drink, but uh, you drink it fast, and uh, you haven't had any in a while. Yep, I, I sure did. Over at the temple, the small, even probably smaller than the than the one you saw at uh, I don't remember the name of that other village, but. Uh, not not quite as uh, is built up. Um, there's a small, uh, you know, area for the. Of course, the 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 cemetery is here. Uh, kind of fenced off area over to the side. Uh, and uh, there's a a single priest, priest of the nine divines, general priest guy here. They maybe even see people wandering, you know, one wanders in or, or praying to the shrine. And, you know, maybe the, these people only have the one donation bucket. They throw in a, a septum or two and say their prayer. Come, they walk off feel, smiling, feeling much better. Like the guy in those commercials where he's so happy. I look at Vale expecting him to drop one in that bucket. I sure do. I uh, kind of just thought her over to give the donation thing and then uh, try and engage the local people into a brief chat about what great evil is around that's causing them to need protection from the temple or something like that. I don't donate. Um, if you talk to one of the parishioners here, um, you know, they say like, I'm here because, you know, I needed to, uh, um, uh, my uh, father has been sick lately. We've tried a few different things. Uh, he, could, he keeps getting sick again, and I started feeling sick. So I came in, and I, I've done my, my prayer here, and uh, I'm already feeling better. But but we mostly worry about you know we're unsure what's what's going to happen. So far we've been able to make life work since the disaster, but since the crisis. Oh, um, but we don't yeah. know how long. Is there a sickness going around, or is that is it just your family? Uh, well, the apothecary says it's uh, it's just a. Uh, it's just a regular illness, but my my dad, he's old. He's uh keeps getting sick. What's what's the illness like? Um it starts off usually as uh, a slight cough and then you know, if it gets worse it turns into weakness and dreariness, lost appetite, 
He won't eat. So we keep on mashing up his food and making it uh, easier for him to to stomach. It's not like he's throwing it up or anything, but just doesn't want to eat. It's probably some made up name we could give it. Sure. The wasting, withering. The yeah. It's not. Uh, it's not. There's not like a plague or anything going on. Right. Oh, okay. That's good. So that's really the worst thing that's going around in town, or is there? Uh, I mean, other than like trying to find a life after the great uh, cataclysm. Well, I suppose uh, a few weeks ago there was, uh, you know, uh, uh, rumors that there were raiders around that. Uh, there were bandits all on the roads, but uh, it seems like that hasn't uh, hasn't kept strong. Uh, uh, merchants are arming themselves more often these days. It's not easy, to, nope. you know. It's risky to go after somebody who can defend themselves. Nobody's gone missing lately. Well, uh, you know, I, I thought I heard of. You know, I can't say honestly. You might have to talk to the the the, the priest. The priest. Maybe he comes over. Missing people, you say? Spell that you. You're up. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've heard rumors that that might be happening. Um. Well, many uh. Uh, of the merchants who come through uh, will often uh, say that they, uh, you know, lost the uh, traveling companion along the road, uh, or, or or more than one companion. Oftentimes, they uh, two or three people go missing at a time. But it's uh, rumor has it that that's happening all along. All along the uh, the Gold Coast and probably even a- elsewhere, if uh, things are to be believed. Well, uh, I give him some more pleasantries about his temple and like how great, you know, it's good that you do work here to keeping the spirits of the people up in this difficult time and uh, put another septum in the thing and then... Uh, uh, just kind of nod to Bertolas and say, well, shrug the shoulders. Perhaps the others have had better luck. All right. So you guys head back down to the inn. Towards the inn. Coming out of the inn, Razor, you can see, uh, you know, down into the kind of center of the little market area that the inn is pretty much right next to. You can see uh, Wynne and Neil uh, talking with a uh, uh, a man who seems to be selling like uh, alchemical ingredients and maybe some potions. Uh, when you just asked him if he knows who Drekus. Do you say again Drekus Usurpus, his whole name? It looks uh, kind of confused when you say that. And um, it's like, oh, Drekus uh, Sithbrook, I know. He's. Uh, oh. Sorry, I'm. I forgot that. That's his name. I keep on saying his last name wrong. It's so hard. But you only, understand. It's the only Drekus I know. So is that the one you're talking about? Uh, yeah. It's a good thing I'm stoic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I have. I usually meet with his apprentice every other day to to discuss uh, my supplies uh, and what I need and what I'm looking for and what I. You made my my uh, my skill with alchemy it just isn't good enough to make the stuff that he can do. Um, he is without a doubt very talented, but I cannot find him. He's not where we we met up. Before. Well, if you if you hang around till tomorrow, I can uh, have you meet with uh, his apprentice. But uh, otherwise, uh, I mean, I could give you some general directions. 
I mean, I'm afraid that I need to see my friend soon rather than later, so if you can give me the best directions possible, that would be best. Razor, you come walking up just as this guy is giving out directions. You head south about a mile and a half. Uh, look for a trail. There's a small sign that says uh, Alchemist. Uh, take mm-hmm. that small path. Goes mm, not even a mile into the woods. Mm-hmm. He'll find his cottage in a clearing. Yep. Can't miss it if you get that. If you if you walk, it's you can, it's possible to miss the the sign. Uh, sorry, I can't describe it better. But uh, mm-hmm. if you're if you've been going to if you've been walking for a while, you're, you've probably gone too far. And just as you he finishes that up, uh, Vale and Bertolas come walking up. Well done, Wynn. You notice like a little tinge of sweat on her brow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And if you, I, s- if you uh, see his, his uh, uh, apprentice, if you talk to him, uh, uh, you tell him he's, he owes uh, old Steve uh, a glass of amber. You got know. it, Steve. Nice fella, that apprentice. Yeah, nice enough. Cheery enough. Well, thank you for your time, Steve. Pull the group away from Steve. So, apprentice, what? Well, yes, many skilled craftsmen take apprentices at some point it would be almost more suspicious for him to not have one especially if he is hiding his disease what's he do he's the only one that has it if that's true regardless i think we stand a good chance okay but he said there's an apprentice what the the rumors veil and i heard were that maybe multiple people were going missing from caravans going through. Yep. Merchants are easy marks. Especially Could... if he advertises his skills as an alchemist so widely. If he did not want to feed upon the people, you know, like here, he could find travelers. Um, it would seem wise, in fact, not to um, call attention to himself in his home. But could this a wise apprentice... man find a loophole in a Diedrich Prince's deal? Well, I think one does. Depends on if you catch him. Yep. Wise, but arrogant. Mm, I wouldn't say arrogant. He, uh, Clavicus Vile said, did say that, and we can watch that again. I actually think the court record. The more I watch that, actually, the more I like it. But he said that uh, the guy got out of the the deal. He promised him his soul, and then he went and made himself a vampire. Yep. Devious. Devious. Either way, very clever. I mean, even even Clavicus Vile had to admit that that was that was clever. Right. But well, like we you, know where to go. Even Why regardless, you don't weasel your way out of a deal with Clavicus. Well, you can try. And then people like us show up. I'm gonna start heading in the direction that we were given. Oh, uh, well. So could that apprentice also be a vampire? Maybe. Great, cool. But if he's the one that makes trips to town, doubtful, as he'd have to go in sunlight. Great, cool, cool. Could be a thrall. Mm-hmm. Which means we might have to kill him anyway, but he'll oh. be weaker. That's wonderful. So what does a thrall do? Just get fetch things? Well, to be enthralled. To follow orders. Uh, he's essentially a slave. Yeah, thrall is... Basically, slave. if we kill the vampire, wouldn't he be set free, and therefore we do not need to kill it? Him? I don't actually know. I've never killed a vampire that had a thrall when the thrall wasn't already dead. Well, if we don't have to go through the apprentice, we can always kill the vampire first and see what happens. It's true. But we might have to go through the apprentice. It's true. So you head that way. Uh, Neo said she began walking that way. Yeah. 
Make sure we're walking and talking. And uh, yeah, just roll. Like You do find yourself, uh, there's this little post along the this small, uh, I mean, calling it, it's not even really a road, more of a trail, a wide trail. As you move your way south from town, uh, there's a smaller trail that kind of branches off uh, that says uh, apothecary you know, or alchemist or whatever I said. Right. Uh, and you can kind of wind your way up there. Are you, what? are we being stealthy? Are we striding I'm going to take the sign down. Ah, <laughs> kind of <laughs> go up and, uh, just out of curiosity, roll a, roll a, uh, oh shit. I don't know. Uh, athletics. Check. Let's see. How do we do this again? At slash slash fate, and then the the number, the bonus that you get. I got fair. Yeah, you it. You know, it's not super easy, uh, and you kind of have to like wiggle it, and <laughs> but you eventually get it up. You just like throw it on the ground there, or like back into kind of into the into the brush. Yeah, and yeah. maybe. Mm -hmm. I mean, if there's any brush nearby that's easily movable, you know, just kind of pull that into the path. Cool. And then side passage. Uh, stealthily, sneakily, confidently announcing your presence. I think we're okay to not be Quietly, sneaky at this point. Quietly, but not sneaky. I mean, yeah, I don't think I want to draw any attention to myself, but... Well, but... I mean, we're just walking up to his house very calmly. Like I said, we have the upper hand here because we know he's a vampire. So as soon as we get confirmation that he is who he is, we do what we need to do. Roll perception. And we might be able to knock out his thrall and Everybody roll perception. Perception. Yep. Perception. Um. <laughs> we got a good and a great. Good job, Win. Yep. Good job, Win. Yeah, done it. She's a winner. <laughs> three, a one, yeah, a four point. from Win. <laughs> Win. Uh, you, you're oh, you're walking you along, and uh, you maybe are able to spot through the trees a a a cottage. Um, not huge, not tiny cottage. Yeah. You could, you could call it small, but like as far as cottages go, it's actually maybe spacious. Um, you hear though as well, shouting and with a four, you, uh, you maybe, you know, you're able to catch the last few words of like, uh, don't Bother me again. Coming from the apothecary. Coming, or the coming toward, yeah, from the where the cottage is. Don't bother me again. Mm. I relay this over to everybody else. Relate. Um, I mean, if somebody is yelling from a cottage saying, "Don't bother me again." Then it... it stands to argue that the vampire isn't in there, correct? Because it'd be dead. Right? No. They could be in the house still. That might have been his apprentice. It could have been a disagreement mm -hmm. on payment terms of some kind. Yeah, if he's not standing in direct sunlight, guess what? It could be a vampire. Let's investigate, shall we, Win? Yep. Uh, sure. Uh, f yeah, a few moments pass. Maybe you guys kind of spread out, make your way a little bit closer. Um, the door opens suddenly. You can see the door, and there's a like a porch with a, you know, a canopy over top, and this young man comes out. Uh kind of slams the door behind him and sits down and pulls out uh, 
uh, knitting stuff or uh, like weave. You know, he's like, and he starts. Put, you know, he's working on some robes or something. It looks like. Ah, uh, yes, <laughs> angry knitting. The least dangerous task with sharp needles that you can do while you're mad. Right. And he's not he's not really at all paying attention to anything else that's going around. He has not looked up or looked out past the porch. Mm-hmm. Aren't you a little thin enough? Should, do, <clears throat> should I talk? We'll let Razor do this as uh, he appears to be eager to talk to this young man. Do all Sorry. five of you approach? <clears throat> uh, anybody rolling sneak? That's my. I will. That's what I want to know. Yeah, I'm not. I'm just going to walk up to nature. him and let the sneaky people do their thing. I rolled good. I mean, no, but I'm almost curious to see what I'd roll. <laughs> I think I'm staying back. I'll head up with the razor. Me too. It's okay. I've got your back, Veil. If something comes for you, I'll attack it first. Uh huh. Probably. Okay. Um. So Razor, with uh, Bertolas and Wynn flanking you, you know, a few, maybe a few steps behind, and armed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, you come walking up, um, and he's angrily knitting. Uh, and if you don't say anything, you'll eventually look up, but I'll leave that to you. Right. Uh, yeah, I... Excuse me. Oh! <clears throat> he puts the stuff to the side, um, stands up, kind of readjusts his, like, robes. Um, hello! Welcome, uh, to Drekus the, uh, apothecary. How can I help you? We're looking for Drekus. He looks back at the door. <laughs> looks back at you and says he's busy at the moment. Mm. Sure he is. We're in need of a an apothecary. He kind of looks at you guys and he's like, uh, uh Someone you know get hurt, or are you here to shake us down? No. Well, no. Someone sick? Need a love potion? You got a damsel you want to bring no, along I wish to I the wizard hidden. tower? No. No, I'm afraid that's not what we're here about. We're here about a deal that he made. Oh, well, I can probably help with that, but if he's, if it's about him, you know, you're going to have to... He looks at the door again. He, you're going to have to come back later. Mm. Yeah, that's... Um, let me guess. Evening time? After sunset? Well, that would be a little late, I suppose, but uh, I don't know when the best time to come back yet is. Mm. Uh, I'd have to kind of, he doesn't want to be disturbed at the moment, so I'll just, thought I'd give him some, he's a nice man, really, but. Mm. How long have you been uh-huh. in his employee? Well, yeah, since, uh, since. You know, he hired me out of uh, Re- Rehan uh, not that long ago. Uh, a couple of been a couple of months. Uh, he was coming through. He needed an assistant. His he said his last one had uh, suddenly quit. Rehad. Rehad is that suddenly what? quit? Huh? That's what he said. Yeah. Mm. Well, I think, uh, yeah, I, uh, I need to speak to him, so, uh, 
if you don't mind just standing here while we take care of uh, dealing with his outstanding It's not a good idea to go down there. I mean, to go in there right now. Why not? Well. No, I, I, I really need to insist. You, you, can't, you can't come in. I'm sorry. Why? What is he doing? Important. <laughs> Alchemy. It, it's, it seems like it was... could. It's dangerous. It could explode. Can I sneak up behind this guy while he's distracted with the rest of the party in you attempts to non-lethally knock him out? You mm-hmm. can certainly try. Yep. All right. Are you the, the, his apprentice? You want me to roll sneak? Yeah. Because sneak. Steve in Again. the town says that you owe him a drink. So he said. Uh, the Steve, the the uh, merchant in, in Isildis. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I, he was right about a, a bet that we made, so I owe him a drink. Seems like he wants it. Oh, it's just, you know, it's in a pro. Boys will be boys. <laughs> what does that mean? Means, uh, means, I'm going to make a perception check. It means, um, oh, uh, well, it, there's a, a woman in town that, uh, I, he said, she was into him. I said she wasn't. He said we didn't want to make a bet on that, and it turns out uh, she said yes to a, to a courtship. So I guess I was wrong about. Uh, Neo, you are able. You sneak up behind onto the edge of the. You kind of like grab on like freaking Assassin's Creed onto the one edge of the <laughs> thing, and you like very quietly. Uh, anybody who did, who got who wants to gets higher than a three, or maybe has a. So maybe when you're the only one who actually notices uh, this like <laughs> shadowy talking, wood elf kind of, you got a three as well to sneak. No, me sneak. Are you, you no, 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 no. Oh, uh, not sneak. Perception. No, I got a three on perception earlier. Oh, uh, okay. So you just see the sh- shadow of a, of a wood elf kind of get over the edge of the porch and make its way behind Luckily, not making any creaky noises, stepping on the wooden planks of the porch, and you get behind him. Or you're. If I had higher athletics, I'd try and choke hold him so that he just goes to sleep, but I have terror. I don't have any athletics at all, so I'm just going to bop him on the back of the noggin with the blunt end of my dagger. Do it. Uh, now, one, you listen here, young man. We need to speak to this jet. <laughs> uh, neat. Uh, do I have anything for this? Help, because, like, I was talking to him. Or no, wait, that's for to hit. Never mind. Can't help with that. Uh, hmm. <laughs> can, can I you're not, tap? You're not quite assassinated yet. You're, you've got some no, of the skills. No, I'm but still working Remember, <laughs> we're basically second level. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm trying real hard here. Yeah, I think I'm probably just going to do what I was going to do anyway, since he's not being very cooperative. I'm, I'm going to paralyze him. Piercing? Oh. Cool. So let's let's play this out. Uh, the shadow gets up behind him. Pommel of the dagger. You bop him on the back of the head, and he goes, ow, and like leans forward <laughs> and turns and looks at you. Roll perception, Bodhi. Uh, boy. I tried, team. Hey, you did your best. Two. You are not sure, but you swear to God, you see a red, like, glint to his eyes as he turns and looks at you, and his face kind of snarls. Ah. Um, uh, and he goes, shit, and he reaches, uh, he's going to reach out to you. Uh, well, if you're going to do the thing, Razor, now's thing, the razor? time. Yep. This is why I should just kill people. It's always the non-lethal stuff I flub. Cool. So you run up to him. You got to touch him with your paralysis. 
and you grab onto yep. his wrist and uh, you feel the magic course through you and the spell does not go out, does not go off. He, ah, he looks at you, uh, breaks his wrist, breaks your, you know, your grasp on, a, on him. Can and I him back? He's going to swing at Neo. Uh, yeah. Oh, goodness. Roll in athletics or something to dodge. I got acrobatics. I got good. So much for Mer superiority. Well, nice. it's been a while. I'm used to sneaking around, not to killing people. Bertalus. <sighs> and my magic's always been borked, so... Well, not always, if you were as high up in the mage's uh, guild as you claim. What? The rank of warlock? Anybody who's half as competent as I am. Now is not the time, guys. You are uh, just barely able to get out of his... He's got some long fingernails there. uh, As he kind of scratches at you. uh, And then looks like he's he's, uh, going for the door. Uh, He's not standing in direct sunlight. Okay, can I grab him and pull him out? Uh, yeah. All right, do that. I will um, help her do that. Athletics or brawl. Brawl is preferred. 100% on board with when yeeting somebody into sunlight. Yep. All right, and then also on top of that, I am going to uh, tap uh, a fish out of water. I'm not entirely sure what, like, Pulling him away from the door is going to do, but I feel like he just shouldn't alert his master or whoever it is. Um, so that's going to be a plus five. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to say yes to that, uh, but uh, I am a little confused as to how fish out of water exactly applies right in this situation. Um, she doesn't understand exactly what she's doing other than yeah, just pulling I'm, uh, Yeah, yeah, I'm uh, fine. Yeah, that, that, I see it. Uh but uh, I do want to be more strict on those, just so we're aware. Yeah. Um, but we, you know, I also want you guys to be able to spend your fate points. Uh, well, I got a three on a brawl to help her, so. Cool. Uh, you're able to, with a five and a three, uh, he struggles against you. And he's like, no! And he puts out his hand for the doorknob, and he, you grab onto him and kind of drag him back out. Um into the sunlight uh his skin is very pale as as you're now getting light on it you notice how just how pale his skin is but he doesn't start burning away or anything all right uh is there a way of trying to subdue him uh because i still just think he's a regular guy i don't know that he's anything else or anything different um so is there a way of like taking him out yeah yeah i want to check with the veil though real quick What do you do? Uh, I'm mostly just uh, watching the scene at the moment. It's not being close up. It, I haven't quite caught uh, all the details. Yeah. Looks like they're just mobbing the assistant at this stage. So yeah. I'm slightly frowning and watching. <laughs> uh, so then, Neo, we'll let you take the next action. Well... <laughs> Not a thrall. I'm going to throw my dagger at him while he's out in sunlight being pseudo grappled by my allies. Okay. Uh, do you want me to use archery for that? Or Ooh, yeah, something throwing else? Throwing a dagger. Oh. It's such a different skill than acrobatics. I like acrobatics. Make it acrobatics. Fair enough. Both of those are plus three. So, in theory, I fucking suck at this, apparently. Jesus. <laughs> Why? Uh, let's see. It's not a crit I fail, swear to goodness. But... I swear to goodness. Yay. I don't swear to goodness. Uh, your dagger goes in his general vicinity, <laughs> misses to the side, almost hits uh, Bertalus. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, Yo! Ra- what did I say? Razor. I didn't hit you. 
Uh, well, he's being grappled. Yep. So that's happening. Uh, he's did a spell on that jackass, but eh, he's being dealt with. Um, I think for now, I I'm going to try and open the door and see if the door to this cabin is unlocked. Uh, yeah, you turn around and check the door. The uh, doorknob turns, and you hear the latch go, and the door slides open. Cool. I open the door and go inside. You step inside. There, it is a uh, about two rooms. You can, or a two room cottage with a kitchen mm-hmm. or a hearth. Um, there is like a small bed over in the corner. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, that's what you see initially, uh, outside Mm. the guy is going to try and break his grip from, so let's have contested checks. Okay. Uh, so yeah, make a, a brawl, brawl to hold on to him. I got a two for Brawl. Aye. Negative one. No. <laughs> uh, shit. He's not able to actually pull himself off of you guys. Okay. As he gets a zero. And is just nice. kind of flailing to try and get away. Uh, uh, mostly, you know, like puts his foot up and kicks like plants it right in your chest when and pushes you away, but realizes that that does not help him get away at all from (laughs) Bertolus, who's now got him both hands from behind him. Uh, What do the two of you do? We don't want to kill you. Just stop struggling and like, let us do our thing. Well, I'm going to try to put him. Seriously, man. uh, He says, shouting at the door. You really, I don't think you want to go down there. I mean, in there. Uh, he's already alerted the person. As I'm uh, trying to put him to sleep, I'm like, we know what he is. What? Yeah. Oh, nope. yeah. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Fail. Should I make a... a <laughs> to see if I can... And the last horse crosses the finish line. Uh... Hunters, he says. He mumbles at you. No, we're not. I mean, we uh, kind of are. Vale, you see, keep watching. Um, they were headed down, like into the room and downstairs. And he's like, "Don't go down that direction." I feel like I should go that direction. Um, so you kind of wander up and around, and yeah, up the behind belly there. Yeah, yeah, onto the porch. <laughs> no, no, Vale, what are you doing? <laughs> behind uh, where Razor is. Uh, Neil, back to you. Well, that that worked beautifully. Um, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go pick up my dagger. <laughs> um, and I am here to kill him. So I'm gonna stab him. <laughs> Vale's not watching. Yep, Vale left. I can kill with comfort now. Kill with comfort. <laughs> I don't know why trying to kill huh. people while Vale's here makes me uncomfortable, but it does. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and stab him. I should probably not do this and just shoot him with my bow from a I, distance. Yeah, because you're a lot better at that. Um, but I can, yeah. if you want the option, you can all... Killing is... I mean, killing is not necessarily fine in the real world, but just, just so we're clear. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you think? But... Uh, you can take him out without killing him if you'd like. No, if you, if you can succeed, I'm gonna kill him. Okay, I'm gonna try, and I'm gonna, I will stay back and actually try and shoot him. I just got a new bow. It's an actual bow. It's an iron bow. Is there a, a grappled arrows. aspect she can she can tag? Uh, yeah. Cool. As you like, just sit there and like present him and and you yeah. know. All right. Uh, that hey. gives me a four then, or a five. I think, I think it's, it's a four. plus two for tagging that as- aspect. 
So five. So five yeah. total. Uh, ow, that's probably going to hurt. He's He struggles uh, violently against you, Bertolus. He only gets a one. Ew. So how much damage is that? You do two from your shifts and then whatever your bonus on your... Uh, he's got it no armor, so... Page. Uh, that, uh, it's like a one or a two. Iron Bow, I think, is a one. Hold on. I have to scroll a lot. Is a zero bonus. Oh, it's zero. That's annoying. Oh, well, it's an oh. Iron Bow. It's pretty low. I'm close. <laughs> I think originally I had that so because... My first instinct was to give arrows damage, but then we just we're gonna go with uh, armor punk, pen instead. Armor pen, yeah, penetration. This is the so. Case. If <laughs> <laughs> armor penetration. Yeah, that's usually <laughs> what that means, right? Okay. Armor that's, penetration. That, that's that's what that means. Yep. Uh, and <sighs> hopefully that gives me a one. Boy, does it. So that's uh, four points of physical stress. It's going to fill up his physical stress box, and he's a minor bad guy, so it also fills up his uh, one consequence slot. He has to, at the very least, tap himself out. Uh, you don't think the first shot kills him? And in fact, he, 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 uh, there's a moment where, even though you just shot him like in a spot that, I mean, it's not going to... You should be like coughing up blood and stuff. I mean, there's some, but he just seems less mortal. <laughs> he gets in, he goes, ah, ah, that really stings. And then he, Ugh. oh, gosh, go. Ugh. And then falls. Like I, I wonder what she could be. Well, Lynn, Bertolus, I'll let you have the killing blow. I stab him. <laughs> oh, I was definitely going to pass on killing a fallen foe. Well, lucky for you, Wen and I will not. But he, he's fallen. He was on the. Okay, Inside. anyway. He's not unconscious. Yeah. Inside, we have Vale and Razor. Uh, empty yep. cottage, from what you can tell. Well, there's a downstairs, so. Because there's always a downstairs. Uh, there is not a downstairs. There is a basement. There are no stairs. As you look around, uh, you find a in one of the back rooms with a, what looks like a mm -hmm. bedroom. In the corner, you find a... It's not like a hidden trap door or anything, but there is a, a latch yep. and a panel that comes up, revealing ladder that goes down to a dark yep, I open chamber. the latch. Yep, open the latch, ladder, dark chamber below. Neat. You gonna go in? I can stay yep. up here and make sure that uh, things are good. Sure, you do that. So down you go, uh, Razor. Um, as the others clean up uh, stuff outside and execute <laughs> the fallen, and he's clearly a vampire. Uh, oh yeah. Wait, but he didn't burn up in the sun? No, and I've seemed to if and it really depends on uh when the last time a vampire is drink drunk blood. Oh. How much the it sunlight takes, affects them. Yeah. Yeah, it'll take longer. But obviously he doesn't like it. So the longer he stays out like there, the, the better it is for you. I don't want he dead. If you leave his body laying here, it will probably burn away. Yeah, it'll just quick. burn away in the sun. It won't rot. It'll just turn to ashes, basically. Well, um, I am going to hurry in the house whenever I can. Razor, you go down. Uh, mm -hmm. This is like a... Uh, um, uh, you see all sorts of storage for alchemical stuff. All along the walls here, you see mm -hmm. uh, uh, alchemy supplies, ingredients, and little boxes right. kind of all over. Shelves. Um, yeah. 
and a small uh, cut-out wooden door uh, on one side, on the south side, mm-hmm. uh, south southern wall. Uh, so yeah, I'll go ahead and open that door. It is locked. Hmm. Good luck, bad luck. What's that? Uh, I'm just thinking about casting open and open lock. I did ha- I do have open easy lock as a spell. Yeah, I might do that. Cast away uh, alteration, I believe. Yep. yep. Nice. So you do the magical spell uh, and reach down and grab the lock and you can feel the magic leave you the palm of your hand, go into the lock and you hear the little clicking as it works, the magic works away and you hear it go and do the, uh, it, uh, it breaks it though. It breaks the lock. Um, mm-hmm. Uh, but it does its thing, and you're able to jiggle it open. Uh, Bertalus, you come in, you see... Uh, Ve- what did Vale, what are you doing? He went down the hole. I mean, I'm basically kind of kneeling by the hole, kind of looking down, uh, to see if I can catch like a piece of him on the other side of the room there, see what's going on, but making sure the trap door stays open, for instance. Yeah, uh, so that's what you see, Bertalus, when you come in. The two of you also, I think following him in when in oh, neo yes yep, so yep. unless you want to stay outside nope i mean i'll i'll you said it was like a There's hatch a little, i can drop down yep and a ladder th- that goes down is there any light down there it's pretty dark the light that's down there is what's coming from up here should point that out, Rob. It is quite dark down there. Oh uh, yeah, I'll probably cast light. Which cool. Uh, how much ma- how much magic have you got? Uh, I got four points. Uh, first one failed, so there's that. Second so one succeeded, good. so two more points. Yeah, so you got two more points. Yep. So did uh, uh... so yeah. I'll I'll spend a third point on light, which I think if I get it good enough, it'll refund it. Yeah, if you, I think, succeed with style. So not likely, but. Right. Oh, freaking close, mean, though. I mean, a six, though. You were just saying. Your light <laughs> splashes, illuminating all the ingredients around you. Uh, as Bertolas, you can see Bertolas over in the corner coming down mm-hmm. the ladder. Yeah. Yeah. How far have you yeah. Uh, Ten feet. Enough that if you land incorrectly, you might hurt. Yeah, slide down the ladder. Sploosh, or you land on top of Bertolus's head. I don't know. (laughs) He's slow. He he gets down from the ladder and turns around without moving away from the ladder or something. And you're like, come and your butt lands on his head. Then he has to move out of the way. Am I upset at this result? I don't know. This. (laughs) I'm just making that up. Just just playing around with yes heads and butts <laughs> how uh, dare you deny for tell us the only touch of a woman he'll ever know hey, wait a minute <laughs> there's a, a door <laughs> uh, rude. now that the three of you are down here you you finish casting your spell the the sound of it kind of fades away roll perception the three of you down there oh actually and and and, and you know everybody everybody roll perception Ah, oh. I'm a little busy, apparently. Something about butts. Yep. Well, I'm not, so. A one. A four from up above. People down, you got a, Christina, you got a one. Veil, vale, you got a three. Razor, a two. Okay. Uh, it's pretty light 
uh, but but Razor and uh, Veil vale and Neo, you can hear um, like a person whimpering uh, from the op slightly opened door uh, that the that uh, Razor has propped open with magic. Mm -hmm. Making some assumptions I won't make public at the moment. I'm going to start down after them that direction. Great. <laughs> Somebody's crying. Therefore, needs my help. <laughs> Great. I am here to help. It's 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 written on the sheet. Fail to the rescue. He'll do great. He does good works. Mm -hmm. I'm yep. going to take my shield out. <laughs> um, yeah, so you take your shield out. The door is there. The chamber open. Whimpering veil comes down the stair, the, not stairs, ladder. Mm-hmm. Well? Razor, you want me to go first? Sure. Go first. All right, here we go. Mostly because my original plan has been uh, kiboshed since there's whimpering down. So. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, uh, <laughs> I, don't worry about it. Uh, my original plan right. was to just incinerate this room. It's fine. Cool. But okay, now well, there might be an innocent civilian down here, so yeah, you first. I will throw open the door and leap in. You open the door, there's... Uh... It's a five foot long, like tight kind of uh, small passageway and you kind of leap through and then take maybe another step to get a better view as light kind of spills in behind you, illuminating uh, in, in part a, a what seems like a large chamber. You can tell from how things are echoing that this room is bigger than the one you just that little basement storage area. Um, and of note, you didn't see any of the like the mortar and pestle that uh, Neo had or any of those other that I can't remember what other tools, what they're called uh, mm. synthesizers and, 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 and Oompa Loompas. <laughs> the Oompa Loompas are very important to the alchemical process. They are. Why do you think Willy Wonka had so many of them? <laughs> yeah. Good point. Uh, you got a point. And uh, the whimpering, you, you now hear it in this, you jump into this room, um, uh, and maybe the light's not uh, doing it right, but there appears to be something in the middle. Like, so you're up above, you, you realize there's like a little landing here. You can see as your eyes kind of adjust a, some stairs to your left. Um, it smells like mm -hmm. candle in here, like there was a candle that was recently been burned out. Um, oh, perfect, cool. And you hear... Multiple voices whimpering in the dark. Ah, oh, great. The voices. That's and it's hard good. to tell how many there are because of the echoiness. But that's what you hear. And then maybe you hear the slight clinking of chains. Sniffle. Well, I'll head down the stairs, shield out, like shield out front. Uh, people behind? Razor. Win. I'll follow him down Fail. the stairs. Yeah, I'm Wait, probably near the back. As Razor... A... Oh, sorry. Win. No, Win has a feeling that these whimpering... Like, the whimpering isn't too concerning. It's what she isn't hearing. Uh, that is. Uh, mainly because she's paranoid and she's a fighter. Um, so I think I'm just going to roll another perception to see if I can see anything else as far as like other tracks or other hints that somebody else is here that isn't like, uh, the thing that you messaged me, do it. Okay. Um, so like we're we going. All right. Then also I'm gonna, uh, Tap in. There's a story about this. The wise woman um, once ah. said there was a, like there was a story about this one uh, sheep herder that went off on, by themselves, and then 
instead of being with their family and then they ended up dying anyways it was a whole gruesome they thing, like but... you know they uh uh there were rumors of like a wolf in the area and the person went in and didn't see any wolves or whatever a desert creature desert wolf <laughs> Yeah. Uh, looked around, okay. didn't see any, and then just assumed, oh yeah, there's nothing. But you, but you, you know that the desert should have known that the desert wolf can hide, and that's the, you know, the yes. moral of the story. That's there is to realize Coyote's that something tricky. could be hidden, and so you listen extra hard. Unfortunately, uh, whatever if there is anything hidden in there, it's being quieter than your senses can pick up. Hmm. I um, readjust my grip on my sword, and I stand at the entrance that the two go down. Okay, so you're, like, um, there on the landing. Stay, yeah, between, like, the entrance where the ladder is and then this group right here, so I can, like, go between them if I need to. Right, gotcha. In the in the larger chamber that's now been filled with light as Razor comes in? Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, illuminating this chamber your immediate zone uh the magical light shows a kind of twisted scene in the center around uh this pedestal with this large chalice sitting on top of it three people back to their backs to the sitting on the ground um naked looking kind of emaciated um and crying uh chained together all around in a uh, around this chalice that's sitting in the middle of a of the room um oh, that's uh, an alchemy uh you see the tools uh along one wall and you see i mean it's there's uh the daedric symbols uh kind of all over the place in here mm. well shit Well, shit, indeed. Well, well, shit is the right thing to say when, as you're standing there listening and people kind of move into the room, uh, you hear a distinct kind of sound of gathering magic over in the side of the room. Uh, what side? And then everybody needs to roll acrobatics. Well, not every, everybody in the room. So that's Veil. Vale. Uh, everybody but Neo? Yeah, everybody but Neo. Which is ironic, because I probably have the best, if not second best, win acrobatics. Um, so can I cover Veil? Vale? Um, and no. I'm going to say no. Whoa. Can I you hide actually, behind yes. my Why? shield? Of course not. Go for it. Of, of course I can't We'll cover transfer him? your role onto Vale. Okay. Because he's a kid and... You basically get in front of his body. You hear the magic and you're like, <gasps> Fuck Vale! And he's like, what? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I say that. I really do. I say, fuck. And um, <laughs> one... Let's see. I've used my fate thing twice, which means I have two more... Um, God, is it even? Ro I'm gonna re-roll. Darn it! I'm a nomad without my tribe, but they're becoming my tribe, man. <laughs> Bam! There it is. Dang! Apparently, you tagged the correct aspect. Yep. Hear that, Veil? Vale? You're becoming part of her tribe. It's working. I did hear that. Sorry, one second, folks. Topper. All right, cool. Okay, so whew, whew. Uh, I got a, a total of five on my roll. Ha! Shoot. So hey, let's Casey? when did we start rolling? Yeah. Would I have been able to like hide behind my shield at all, or is this just acrobatics? So, and may, with this is we, we're gonna play around with this a little bit. We'll have some kinks to work out with how like spells and 
armor and things is going to affect stuff. So bear with me. Mm -hmm. um, yep. So it's going to deal on your acrobat. The reason I have you roll acrobatics is because protection or your armor it doesn't protect you against magic. You need magic resist for that. Which you're a, gotcha. you're yep. a Briton, so you get you get the minus one. Yay. You get, get your protection. Uh, so, Christina, we'll use your roll on Veil. And let's see. The, to the total damage, he gets his uh, sh he gets shifts plus three. So whatever you fail by, plus three. And it's this AoE is this, you see this small, like, uh, bluish colored, like, crystal kind of fly through the air. And then it gets to a spot, like, right, like, on the stairs, right next to where, uh, behind you just a little bit, uh, Bertolas, uh, right next to where uh, Razor is, it explodes into shards of ice and the floor becomes slippery as a result um d appearing out of thin air the shimmering form wearing robes and ha uh, having this kind of uh this cool sword with blue uh stuff on its edges um is a pale skinned uh, red-eyed kind of sinister looking fellow who uh, readies his sword in action. Now, some of you probably took consequences from that. I'm going to spend a fate point to activate dragon skin. Yeah. Yeah, I'll let it. Yep. Because so otherwise, be... I rolled a negative two. <sighs> yeah. Oh, shit. So we get three damage from that? So you, with your one that you're transferring over to, you're going to take the brunt of that. So you're going to take eight physical stress. All right. So, so it's going to fill up. Rush. Ooh, what is adrenaline? I don't remember what I. And the fate point. So my last one to ignore a consequence for the remainder of the scene. Sure. So you still have a consequence, but uh, you're not going to. You're not taking any negative uh, effects from it. I can't take it against you. I can't use it as a compel. Nobody else can use it against you. Got it. Do I take four then? Because of use because of wind's roll. Wind's roll, so four, uh, and then plus so it's a total of eight. So we're gonna take one off of that. It's seven points of physical of physical stress. So wind roll the four. Yeah. You roll the five. Oh wind so roll the four? I did. Yes. I rolled. Oh, I just misread that. Okay. Uh yeah. You got a four, so you're going to take four. Four points. Phew. Wait, what is your roll? Fail. So, so three. Yeah, mine was right. a one. Just add that all up. Three works. Yeah, much better. Oh, gosh. I was worried there, Vale. All right, mm -hmm. so then I still take Maybe. eight physical stress, though, right? No. You only take four. All right, I only take four. Okay. I mean, if you want to take eight, I think we could work something out, but... That, I think it's fine. eight. I think she's... Because she's sacrificed. Take, she's take, putting... Take. She's protecting Vale. So you take all eight. So which okay. fills up your six, and then yep. you, you'll need to look at uh, taking consequences. If you want, you could take, like, a bigger consequence. But a, a minor consequence will do just fine for now. Okay, so then... I'm not going to even tap that fate point then because like there's no point because I did not understand what it was for. So I'm going to keep that fate point because I don't know when I'm going to use it for something else. It's smart. Uh, and we'll start, um, I think, standing in front, Berta last year first. Well, I guess I have to, to rush in in the hand-to-hand -hand combat with the vampire. Yay! And Less that, than ideal, but that, what that can you do? Sword he had. Okay, yeah. Uh, let's do this. Well, I rolled epic, and um, yeah. nice. I am a knight of the dragon squire, so I'm gonna spend a fate point to make that a nine. The adrenaline's pumping through Bertolus, huh? Yeah. Fuck that hurt. And now it's time to. Now it's time to turn the favor. Play the smackdown. I I wanted to be able to do some because I've been barely slapping at you guys in terms of damage. Yeah. And I wanted to be like, 
Yeah, this is a this is a vampire who is also a mage. He's got Yeah. I imagine you guys are especially with that role are now going to beat the shit out of him. But I got gotcha you with one you spell. You uh, hurt with pretty bad. Yeah. Uh and my katana, my Akaviri katana does 3 damage no, I'm just gonna and I got a 9. Damn gift of the blades, your Akaviri katana. He tries to parry. Uh, and what did you okay, get well, he on did good. your? I, I got a nine total. A nine. Um, so that that gives you shifts of four. What does your Akaviri do for damage? Three. Three. So it's going to be three more points. He has no armor, so that's uh, seven points. <laughs> seven points to hit. <laughs> uh. so luckily, is tough to kill. But, oh uh, yeah, I believe it. He's going to take a, a minor consequence. Nice. Uh, what do you want that to be? Could it be wounded pride? <laughs> I don't know. What's what's the minor consequence thing? Where is that? Uh, so it's down at the bottom of your character sheet. Uh, you could also look it up if you got the books. You can look up some co- good examples of consequences. I think are in there. Uh, sliced. I like. Yeah, I probably went for his neck. Tried to slice him across the throat. Point is, he's got a consequence that people can now. I think the first time around mm-hmm. you get to take it for free, but after that, you're gonna have to. Yep. Uh, use a fate point. Uh. All right. Ouch. This could be quick. I mean, that was a really good roll. Maybe I'll. Maybe I'll. Still be threatened. Was uh, we're gonna go to Razor. Cool, he's taking a lot of damage right now. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and cast uh, Soul Trap on him right now. Good idea. Give me a, what's uh, soul, it's mysticism, I think, technically, right? I mean, is that even, uh, which I, I would think we made I would, skill. I'd label it under alteration, maybe? Alteration. Or con- oh. Either alteration or conjuration, the two. You know what? I like it being conjuration. I like that. Okay. And it makes well, it, well, yeah. Then gives one extra yeah. use for conjuration that uh, you guys won't. It's often mysticism. Get to use. It is mysticism. Right. But I don't well, think we had mysticism it, as a skill. We, yeah, we don't have mysticism. We went with Skyrim. But it's a whole class of magic. I know, but Boring. we we labeled a lot of mysticism under alter. So. All right. Tell that to the judge. Right. Either way. What? Uh, Conjuration's a five, so... Oof, your spell goes off. It, you see magic kind of whirl around him and then seep into him as his the soul trap. And it's like a... Um, like you set a trap. Like you got there. The right. trap is, is laid. The metaphorical right. it's, spring is... It's, it's, in a, and yeah, it's a his, preemptive deal. Right, yeah. When, his, when he expires and his soul tries to go, it We'll go down, and you've got the black soul gem yep, marked. Black soul gem. Awesome. Yep. Veil. Oh, huh. They did oh. make a conjuration in Skyrim, but it was mysticism oh. and oblivion. Interesting yeah. choices. Okay. Uh, I see yep. Wynn get injured right in front of me, um, and this guy's like some vampire sorcerer thing, so I'm not going to try anything illusiony crazy. So I was just going to try to throw a heal on Wynn. We have a healer. Yeah. Uh, oh, the yeah. rare. Diggity. So yeah, I'm throwing a heal, some magic around. I mean, Win really did save your life there. I'm that. That's pretty kind of pretty good. Mm-hmm. I mean, it certainly looked that way. Yes. Because <laughs> you've got probably two physical stress, and then your minor, moderate. I mean, you still got. Like well, total. if I took three points of damage, uh, my resist magic would reduce that to two, oh. which means I filled up my physical stress, but if you had to take a consequence. Um, and, you know, I also have dragon skin, so Got that in your probably would have been better if I'd taken that than win. But she doesn't that. know that. Nope. <laughs> <And> so, <laughs> here we are. She did a good job. She saved, Real your, she saved your butt. Anyways, yes, she did, and so I'm going to like uh, uh, 
reach out the healing restorative magics that I've got. Um, and that was actually only a three, not a four. I rolled the wrong scale, but um, three so I got a three, three, which is enough to make the spell go off with two shifts. So, yep. Uh, is that it's heals shifts, right? Uh, Ooh, healing shifts clear physical or mental stress boxes. Yes. So heal up two. Yeah, so I get rid of my head wound consequence, or do I still have that? Um, you technically still have that consequence, right. um, but you have two extra uh, stress boxes. Ooh. Okay, uh, and then uh, Wind, it's your turn. Well, I mean, I do have a sword in my hand, and that sword. is a bad guy, so yeah. stab <laughs> and I'm gonna tap his like neck wound thing. Yep, perfect. So let's see here. And we're gonna do this. Great. Uh, so then that will be a five. Turns it into a five. He's gonna try and avoid that. Okay. So that's gonna get. It's gonna do three shifts on him. How much damage does your weapon do? Uh, plus three. So that's gonna be six points of damage to him. Yeah, the boy. Oh. The weapons add a lot. Six more points. Can he handle it? Uh, just barely here. Let's see, because if he takes a moderate consequence, that's a minus four, so he can absorb four that way, and then he can wipe the rest out. He's basically if he takes more damage, he's he's out because he's got a serious consequence. He's got a serious, moderate, and minor consequence. And oh no, wait, he can. Yeah, he's got uh, six. Well, no, he just skips it. It would be more efficient for him to just take the serious. No, no, no. He's gonna take both. He's gonna take both, and he's got four four stress four stress box boxes left for Neo's turn. Let's see if I can do four points of damage, team. As uh, I hear the commotion go, that's probably not good. Uh, peek my head around the corner and shoot an arrow. I hear you kill vampires by putting a wooden thing through their heart. That is true. And so Don't miss. Wooden thing, go. Uh, I am going to spend a fate point for Hunter of Hearseen, as I'm uh, pretty sure he doesn't like vampires, no. uh, nor do I. No. So, also We're all gonna... the Daedric stuff in here. You know, you like scrawled somewhere and then like scribbled on. You see Hearseen's like symbol or something over there, <laughs> and he's like, oh, "Son of a bitch!" <laughs> Dare you? Uh, so that'll be a five total. Um, nice. And do I get to tap the wounded thingy as well, or you no? You can spend a fate, another fate point on it if you want. Isn't Might as well. Tap for the original. It's been free tapped once. Already. Christina already used it. But yeah, Christina yeah. just created a new one too. Oh <laughs> shit! That's Never true. mind. Yes. Okay, I'll. Well, I will keep my fate point. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna argue. The moderate. Uh, okay. Yep, so that makes it a seven hunter of her scene plus the yep and this time he can't use parry so he's got to use oh, oh. that's three points of three shifts plus your zero from your bow he's still up He's still up. Is it still a zero for my, my bow? <laughs> for now it is. Because I'm going to get oh. one more round out of this guy. As oh, no. Get no. one more round out of this guy. As he swings his, his sword straight at Bert Bertilus. Yeah, here it comes. Duck. Yeah, duck behind the shield. Oh, son oh. of a bitch. I try to parry. He rolled a critical <laughs> failure. <laughs> I mean, just... or, or, oh, that was great. 
It's mediocre. Oh my he zero. God. Well, he got a zero, but uh, he's got a plus four on his thing, so that means oh, the dice a rolled fail. a minus That's four. Uh, uh, well, I didn't critical fail, him. so... It would have felt what good. What a lame, you stupid guy. <laughs> he hucks his sword, like it hits, it bounces off your shield, and like it barely... And it like goes out of his grasp, and he goes... <gasps> And it like, cling, 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 cling. More of a mage uh, than a fighter, huh? And then I stab him. Yeah. Here, 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 here. I like to think that Christina did something like uh, hacked the arm really badly as for her consequence. And then, he, and then when he went to swing it, his hand actually came off. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> with the sword. And then Virtualist finishes him off here by doing one point of damage. Yeah, if you, if you can. He's like, bring it. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. I mean, I'll take I'll take a three. Well, that's more than one point of damage that you do there. Yes. And you run him through, and he he whispers at you, "I will be a prince." And then you see a soul. Uh, this beam of light goes over to the soul gem that. Uh, What's his button hold is holding in his pocket? <laughs> Razor. Yep. I I just like hold him up and like pat him on the back. Sure you will, buddy. And then I drop him. Okay. We want to wrap this up pretty quick. It's eight forty seven PM Pacific time. Uh what do you do with the people here? They Free tell him. you they're they're oh. they're travelers. They've been they got yep. this this guy well. came out of the woods and asked to join them. Used his enth- his enthralling vampire powers and brought them here. Yep. Did um, he bite you yeah. at any point in time? No, he said he. Yeah, give us. him a once over. Make sure there's no puncture wounds. He said that he needed our mortal souls intact for the cup. Oh, uh, nice well, I'll still still give him a once over. Probably trying to use uh, the cup got, in some he's got, vain attempt. At- Becoming powerful vampire. He's got uh, ropes. Uh, that oh, we're going to be doing a lot of looting. I'm glimmer sure with place, magic. But... Ooh, and, uh, those magic robes? We'll go over the details, but the, the, the two big things are the robes that kind of glimmer with a little bit of magic. And then a uh, the, the steel, it's a steel short sword of, well, of minor frost. Oh. Plus one ah. frost damage. Check that. I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead and take that rope. Don't forget, there is also a room full of alchemo- alchemical reagent substances yep. that I am going to have a great time. Yeah, well, and we'll figure that out, and you can. Uh, yep. In our off 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 screen. Mm-hmm. Making potions, team. So what do you you let them go? You help these people find. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah we not- uh, bring them back to town. I'm, I forgot to include. Uh, there's a there's a big box in the in the basement room, uh, that's full of bones. Yep. Oh. Bleached and cleaned, bones. Yeah, that's that's H- human Good looking bones. That your new commander uh, are tidy. Human or myrrh, but probably a mix of both. Yep. Um, and then you return to uh, the shrine. Um, I mean, if you guys, if you guys want to, um, go explain this to the villagers, I'll go back to the shrine, uh, end our contract. I'll go with you. I feel like we should do that as a group, just in case. Well, you know, I hear these danger well, cases are tricky. Uh, yeah. That's true. We're- uh, it was uh, I. Uh, I think that's the right thing to do as a group, yep. for the sake of the game and uh, you know, just the, ma- it's the thing that makes most rational sense. Uh, but uh, I, was, I do want to say, oh. uh, I was sort of looking forward to you guys giving him the okay on that and having him go talk to uh, Clavicus File on his own. No, <laughs> I'm naive, but that still seems like a stretch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it was worth a shot. You, so uh, you I inform will... the village. Uh, 
I will tell Neo that when she's working with the or Lil, right? Anyways, the uh, Alchemo Regents that he was providing some good help to the village. So it'd be nice if we left like a couple of potions or something for the village as part of this too. Cool. Her natural uh, charisma persuades me. But I don't have any uh, you. problem telling this the the village what was going on. That guy you knew as Drekus was a vampire, and we killed him. There, he had people locked in his basement. Here they and are. Here are those people. I mean, they they probably probably that, story. plenty of evidence that uh, bad things were happening. As you're uh, kind of going into the. Uh, um, the village there you you hear some people over talking real quick uh like yeah i i saw the i saw him too yeah the, the hero kavach or not like he just stood outside the shop for the entire freaking night staring at the door waiting for it to open it was crazy oh hey and then looks at you guys it's like oh uh who are you talking about oh just a story about the hero kavach that uh, a merchant buddy of mine told he saw him. I don't understand what you're saying. Uh, here. <laughs> uh, so you inform I, them. Uh, I'm going to stay at the cottage and make potions while they do this. Cool. And then again, yeah, we'll figure that out. Um, we'll, so you go back to the shrine of clavicus vile and place the uh, gem in the dog's mouth and it shines with a brief flash of light um mm-hmm. lucas uh was like hey i could record a second part to this and uh he's he had already he, he did and he sent it over to me yes. i just didn't have enough time to actually edit it but i can we can use that um but I think he, he'll get to decide what magic item is being. You, you can certainly go back and forth with him. We're going to do that on, on message him on Discord or, or Lucas, if you're still watching, met, post. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to stay at the cottage. And... Whoa. Um, that was Bodhi's voice. Yeah, and <laughs> well, that is huh. weird. Uh, unsettling. I don't like hearing my I think voice. your Twitch is <laughs> you don't like hearing. more delicious. Most yeah, my Twitch, so my Twitch unmuted. Solidly no. Missed Blake. You also, I think, further behind on that. I don't think the delay is equal across viewers. No. no. Um, I, I've been up to like 20 seconds behind. Oh, yeah. Do you want to drink out of the bigger, bitter cup? Anybody want to? No, no. I forgot. I think uh, this yeah. was a bad idea. I'm willing to listen. Yeah, to I told you it was a real <laughs> bad idea. I, I, was, I was like, I don't know, Lucas. They might not go for it. But he, he's the one who was like, oh, yeah, it's going to be a vampire. It's going to be great. It's an evil guy. He'd be fine. Yeah. Or to yeah, morally uh, justify working with the Daedric Princes. In real yeah, life. I mean. Depends on the Daedric Prince and where your morals are. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm You're sure Wynn would be fine yeah. with. Uh, being stronger than Hercules, but dumb as a rock. Hey, Wynn's I... lowest stat is not intelligence. <laughs> I'm not certain about that, but all right. She's Just very smart. To well, since since we or any of these people does not, in fact, make me dumb. Ignore him, uh-huh. Bosmer or Dunmer. He's nothing but rude. You're a Bosmer. I am a Bosmer, and I'm normal. And that's a and like that's Wynn. a Freudian slip right there. No, Bosmer can be rude. That's true, but I like Win, and I know she's smart. There you go, Happy Win. Yay. Yeah, you're all dumb. <laughs> Anyways, wow. All right. So, note of the bitter cup. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna spoil what it does, though, uh, since you guys are giving it up. Um, it increases your highest skill by one, I believe, was the deal. Hold on, actually, yeah. I'm going to make sure I'm saying this right because it's actually written down. Oh, it's right here. I thought I already got it. Uh, 
Bitter cup. <laughs> if you drink from the cup, your highest and second highest tier skills are treated as one level higher. Your lowest tier and skills you have no rank in are treated as one level lower. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, it makes you really yep. bad at stuff. But it, it bumps up your top tier skills. But yep. you're going to avoid that. It it's, it's... Yeah, it's, I don't think it's worth it. Yep. It's like, cause it's... So instead, we'll figure you're out good. the work. You're here. good at like two things, but you're bad at everything else. And, and, and feel free to role play that shit out uh, on, in your text as we uh, wrap it up here for the night. Um, right. Having just completed, uh, like, basically the interlude into chapter two. And we'll get on to full fledged High Rock Hammerfell uh, uh, ventures into the Alakir Desert, revealing what the song uh, or the song of growth. Wait, what did I call it? Life. Song, the of, song life. of life. It's the. Yeah, I can't remember. We'll figure it out. Welcome back. It starts back, out with everybody. like a kumbaya thing and then whatever. Oh. We basically botch the ending every single time when I'm trying to, to wrap it up. But that's going to be it. We're going to thank you all for whoever watched. Thank you guys for playing. It was a fun. Mm -hmm. Worked out pretty well. I'm glad. So uh, have a good one, everyone. Bye. Bye.